2022 NFL Draft, the New York Football Giants select Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end, wow. Oregon! Wow. What is yours, my God? Yeah! yeah. One of the most electric moments in the NFL draft, and the young man behind the call is joining us in studio we got him. right now. Let's welcome to the breakfast table <laughs> Giant Superfan and Make a Wish recipient, Mr. Sam Prince. Let's go! Thank you guys so much for having me. It's a real honor. Always dreamt of being in one of these chairs. Dreams really do come true. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Sam has come into the studio and has just raised our level of not yeah. only excitement, but our appreciation for what we get to do because your joy just, it, it just permeates everything. Um, you put on a show all weekend at the draft. You did the Thibodeau pick, and then you joined us on set on Saturday. What was the whole experience like? NFL Draft Weekend for Sam Prince. Well, Peter, it was incredible to be there. And I just want to thank Make-A-Wish for granting my wish and the New York Giants and the NFL. It was really an unforgettable experience. Won't ever forget it. And I got to announce the pick, Kayvon Thibodeau. I mean, come on. The New York Football Giants got the best, <laughs> one of the best players in the draft. Kayvon Thibodeau going to the college football season. He was the number one contenders uh, overall pick. Uh, and he uh, fell to five. Imagine that. <laughs> That's great. And the Giants got Neil. Fantastic. And I also got to meet... Rich, Charles, you, and Dale Jeremiah on NFL Network, which that was another dream come true. Amazing weekend. Rich, Amazing. Chuck, Shriggs, and they're on the big team. The in the front mic. of the Bellagio Fountain sure. with yeah. Tibodeau falling to you. And you got him hype on stage. It was so great. Now, we talked about Make-A-Wish. We know you've been through a lot. You survived a serious heart condition. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, Kay. I was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. I, basically what that is, I was born with a half a heart and I still have one lung. I was born with one lung. And when I was eight years old, I got a heart transplant on March 14th, 2011. And I'm 11 years strong. Mm. And I thank my donor every day for the selfless act that their donor family gave to me. It's beautiful. Wow, that's awesome. 11 years strong. Good stuff, man. That heart is, is pumping right now. That energy that you brought, the excitement. I got to ask you, life's a little bit different since the draft? Like, can you walk <laughs> around like your neighborhood, yeah. your hometown? Are you kind of a celebrity? Are you taking selfies? with people what's going on what's that like well it's kind of crazy sean you know a lot of people are like you're the kid who did the pick the giants pick mm -hmm. can i take a picture with you so that's all over school everywhere everywhere i go i was just at a restaurant the other day and people are like some people group people are like hey you're the kid i was like yeah you can't take a picture with you i was like it's just so weird to me <laughs> you know? look at this eli what did you see? Did you just see that? Did you see that? that? Yeah. What's your crazy. reaction i'm like eli man tweeted at me yeah. like oh my goodness oh there you are how cool. Hey, that's me. <laughs> what was it like to meet him? What Got was some swag, too, huh? It was crazy, you know. I, the, the, I was so caught off guard. Eli, you know, if you didn't know he played football, you would just think he was a suburban dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just that guy. Uh -huh. You meet him, and it comes off just like that, huh? Yeah. Like, just like some dad in the cul-de-sac, you know, enjoying time and meeting you. And in the meantime, we know that you are pursuing a career in sports broadcasting, all right? You were a natural. You got the great look. You got, uh, you know, this incredible name, even. Sam Prince. Sam Prince. Good uh, name. It's a great name. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want, what did you do? We're a little test right now, because right. I know your game for this thing. I want each of you to go around the table and ask the four of us each, one by one, any kind of rapid fire question oh, you want about the 2022 off season. Whatever you want, start spot, wherever Sam. you want, play ask host, whatever you want. Play host. Whatever you want. All right, we're going to start with Kay. Yeah, Good idea. Yeah. 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 All right, Kay. Last year, Sam. people called you Queen Bangle, and the Bengals made an improbable Super Bowl run that I don't think anyone could have predicted to start the regular season. What team that you think is going to make that kind of run? I'm going to, oh, I could double down on the Bengals, but you know who I like? The Ravens this mm. year. I like oh. what they did in the draft with Kyle Hamilton. I know they still need a vertical threat. Hopefully they found one, one or work it out, but I like the Ravens. I like what they did a lot. That was really rapid and really on. on Sam, what do you got? Seat. What do you think? I think the Ravens are going to be really good. I don't really think that's, uh, that's a sleeper. I think the oh. Ravens are going to win the right. AFC North right here. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, angry runs yeah. is your Fail. big thing. Yeah. What running back is going to have the most angry runs this year? All right, that's very simple. His name is Javante Williams. He showed up on our radar last year. He's a running back for the Denver Broncos, okay. the second-year guy out of North Carolina. I don't know if you've seen this dude, Sam Prince, but a lot of people have had their faces stepped on as he runs into the end zone. There's some good rookie talent. I like some of the guys coming on the rookie class that you were there for the draft in Vegas, but Javante Williams, I feel, is going to come into his own as an angry runner. Do you tell me I'm wrong right now? I hope so. I think you're going to be right. I th yeah. I think we can see that. I think we yeah. can see that. <laughs> All right. Sean, 
and the NBA there's an award most improved player. What offensive lineman will take the most improved offensive lineman this year? <laughs> yes. Wow. Great. great. That's question. deep. What a nice question. Game. That's great. I'm going to go Andrew Thomas yes, here. Yes, sir. All right. Andrew Thomas, fourth overall pick. All right, it's right in your wheelhouse. Hopefully the whole Giants offense is the most improved offense in the league. But Andrew Thomas, I think, quietly will start to get some Pro Bowl recognition. Mm. I am a huge Andrew Thomas fan. The Giants, since we've been supporting Andrew since day one, so let's go Giants right there. Peter, Sam, last but not least, we, we know we got the Brady news right here. We were talking right before <laughs> the show. Great. Is this, last, is this Brady's last season? What a question. Is this the retirement tour? Because why else would he be announcing that he's joining Fox you know, you're a Fox guy. Do you have any inside information? <laughs> Sam Prince. This guy's research this and, guy's and current. Pull from the headlines. First of all, Sam, I think you, you could join our staff immediately with these questions. These are all great right, TV right. questions. Uh, I would like to think that Brady sees a light at the end of the tunnel and you're not making this major announcement with two years left. That would be unfair to whoever the person in the chair is this year. Mm -hmm, I think this might mm -hmm. be Brady's last ride. Oh, that would be crazy to think Brady's actually going to retire. Uh -huh, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. When do you think he'll retire? I, 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 you know, I don't know if he'll ever retire, honestly. Uh -huh. He's just that kind of guy. Keep going. Forever. As a Giants fan, do you feel, and Sean can relate, a, a certain ownership of Tom Brady based on how a couple of Super Bowls have gone? I, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sean, Sean can agree with me, I think, out of this. Yeah, yeah I'll co-sign on that. That's right. Hey, but maybe in the meantime, maybe you could fill that seat. For Fox, maybe you can right. step in there. All right, you know, Peter, I mean, you you're my replacement. Guys. You can just mosey on over <laughs> there and uh, sit like... down. You've got it covered, kid. I promise. It's done. Don't quit. Uh, all right, we got that. Uh, Sam, we have another thing for you to do uh, here. We're really making you run through the whole this thing the today. For real. A very important part of sports broadcasting, Sam, is being able to make the big calls during the pivotal, huge moment. So we cut together a little bit of a highlight reel, oh my God, Sweet. from the Giants Super Bowl 42 matchup mm -hmm. against the Patriots, of course, and we're going to put you on the spot if you'd like. Yeah, let's do this. To make the call of the game. Are All you right. ready for this? I'm ready. Let's, let's roll. Roll it, it Sam. Take it away. Yeah. All right. Go. Super Bowl 42, Eli Mag snaps the ball. He's looking for an open man down the field. No, Patriots. Are going to tackle him. No, no, no. He's moving around. <laughs> he heaves it up. Tyree, he's got a man. He's caught on his helmet. Improbable. Did what just happened? We are seeing greatness right here. Wow, oh, wow. Could the upset happen? Manning heaves it to Plaxico. The <laughs> The 19-0 perfect season will not happen. 18-1, 18-1. New York City are champions once again. All right. Yeah. Amazing.